Good afternoon. My name is Mark Mahold. I am in ITS 4440, um, and I'm going to be doing a video tech note of an array list. Uh, to get started, basically, uh, things that you need to know about an array list. Uh, what better place to start than looking at the Oracle documents, the people who made everything possible? Uh, resizable array implementation of list interface implements all optional list operations and permits all elements, including null. In addition, to implementing the list interface. This class provides methods to manipulate the size array that is used to internally store the list. This class is roughly equivalent to vector, except it's unsynchronized. Uh, basically, all that fancy jargon means an array list is not immutable. Uh, it can be added to, modified. It can also point at everything, even null. Uh, so basically, that's going to give you the ability to use just this and modify it, uh, unlike a string, where you would have to concatenate whatever you want to add to it, all that other fun stuff. So it leaves us open for a lot of fun things. So a couple of the many things that you can do is you can add dot get dot set or dot remove, which is something that you would have to concatenate in a string. So <clears throat> ArrayList is already advantageous to certain things that you would want to be doing, whether that be adding a database of customers to your flower organization or tracking payments for balancing your checkbook. An ArrayList can add all of those things together or take away from. So it is a great way of using something to modify for it. To create an ArrayList, it is similar to making some other things like in uh, Java that we normally use. So you would import the use of an array list, which allows Java to say, oh, I'm going to be using this class. Uh, so you would go public class example, and basically you would array list, and then in these parentheses, you would say, or not parentheses, but brackets, you would say what type of an array list is going to be. So that is the only thing you really need to specify. You're going to have to say if it's going to be a double, a float, a string, uh, or whatnot. <laughs> Uh, so for this example, we created a string, we named it Star Wars, and basically have said new array list string. So this is the whole line that you would make. So if you just want to call, or excuse me, not call, if you just want to create something without actually modifying it, you would just need the first half. The equals would be your next part where you're actually birthing that into existence. Um, basically, uh, this opens you up for quite a few other things. So. We're going to look at this code right here. It's going to be kind of the same stuff. So we're going to be adding something to this array list. Uh, as you can see this from the beginning, this is the same code that you saw earlier. Um, <clears throat> all you do is you take the name of whatever the array list is and dot add, just like we saw earlier. So it will add all of these strings, and then it will print them out. So giving that result, there's two different ways to print out a array list. It's going to show you either the whole thing by just printing out the name of the array list, which will be in brackets. So sometimes it's not you know exactly what you want, or you can use a for loop to go through the entirety of the list and print out each individual thing. So it will find the size of the array list, and it will go through and print out every single thing. So our output for that first, like I said, it's going to show it in brackets, and it will show the entire array list, or you can print them out individually. This would be advantageous if you're just trying to find the index of a certain thing, or if you're trying to print out that index. <clears throat> so if I was just trying to show somebody that I really like to show, uh, and I logged it into this list, uh, we'll say, for example, this list was saying shows that I've watched. So if I wanted to show them The Mandalorian, uh, I would just have to go to the index of zero on that thing, or in this case, printing it all out. Um, modifying and displaying them is something that is really advantageous that you can do, like I said earlier. Since it is not immutable, we can add and change and take away. So uh, here's the same code that we've been using. Uh, it's just going to show the exact same stuff that we did. But after this, we're going to change the element. So this is a system outline print uh, of what we did earlier. What we're going to do is we're going to dot set two of the uh, elements to something different. So at index one, we're going to change to this, and index two, what correction, index four, we're going to switch to this, and it's going to print it out through again. So we'll go basically down to the last piece, and it will say the first print is going to show all of that, and the second print is going to give through that. And basically, that is kind of a runaround generalization of an array list. It will show you everything that you need to do, uh, and you can modify it and change it away just exactly like you normally would.